Hey guys, welcome to another video by Pokelover299. Uh, today I'm doing a tutorial for a person who asked uh, in my how to improve Minecraft video. They asked how to record Minecraft and you know, um, perhaps, perhaps is truly probably the best out of all of them, truly. Uh, it's, it's probably the one that you're going to want to go with because if you use any of the other ones like um I know I'll show you here I have Camtasia uh Camtasia works pretty good for recording Minecraft but if you are worried about the lag and you just you just have have dealed with all these other ones I've tried I've tried Bandicam and I have tried Camtasia and I've tried DX Tory and I I think all of them cannot compare to fraps. Uh, the only problem with fraps that I that I always hate about fraps is just that that fraps takes a freaking ton of disk space. Um, it's it's unbelievable. Like ever, for for like 30 seconds, it's 500 something megabytes or so. I don't remember. It's something like that, and uh, it's it's pretty ridiculous. I mean, I wish I know Bandicam can do pretty much the same thing, um, but it makes the file size smaller and I say it adds quite a bit of lag and they say they don't but uh, I'm just gonna go over how to record with fraps without having um, all of the trouble of just having so much lag um, game booster and all that from my other video yeah that all works but Minecraft has obviously changed since uh, last year so I might have to make an updated version of that just to uh, keep up with everything but um, you can get fraps for free or um, you can get the free fraps and you'd have to hit the recording button every 30 seconds and there would be a nice little logo up on this screen which really really just it, it just makes me mad it just makes me mad that fraps would really do that um, but of course they have to make their money too but um, this is what the professionals use this is uh, this is what they do to record uh, all of their PC gameplay not only Minecraft um, but but things like Call of Duty, and they record all the new games like uh, Deus Ex and whatnot. I don't know if I pronounced that right because everyone pronounces it differently. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll put maybe make another video on how to get fraps free. I think uh, maybe in a couple days. But uh, for now, I will just teach you how to record. Uh, you can get fraps for free at the Pirate Bay or whatever you can get it to Torrance but um, I, I paid for mine I've got the full version it works incredibly better I think than the free version anyways to the tutorial finally I'm sorry that I talk so much um, these are my settings uh, I, I don't like to keep perhaps minimized because then you can't change any of these beautiful settings uh, you don't really have to check that. I mean, some a lot of people think it's annoying that Fraps is always on top, but uh, I don't really mind. Uh, never, never click this. This will always slow down your computer startup. You should not keep this on. Uh, this is only to kept to be kept on if you're recording something like Happy Wheels or you're trying to do make a tutorial like I am. I'm recording with Fraps right now, as you can see in the nice little taskbar down here. But um, that's uh, that's just to record the desktop. Minimize the system tray, optional. Okay, FPS. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. I mean, I'll take a look really quick just to show you guys, but I don't really think it has any importance if it even opens. Um, but uh, keep all these unchecked. They don't really matter, but uh, just if you want. Uh, you always want to hide overlay. Um, for some reason, when you, when you stick it out like that, here, uh, let me show you. Uh, as you can see up in the top corner right here, it's uh, it's kind of annoying. I mean, all the viewers can see that. It, I so I remember one point when I first got this, uh, and I and I would click the overlay. This wouldn't show up for the recording, but um, for some reason it it just does now. Uh, never click this. Never click that. It will completely lag out your computer uh, because that'll say that every single um, frame is an important frame it will completely lag spike and you will have a fail <sighs> okay next step next step I'm getting lightheaded here uh, video capture key, hotkey I usually keep it on the um, 
whatever button that is. It's uh, right under the escape key. No game ever uses that. That's just, uh, I don't even know what it's for. I mean, nobody uses it. So that's that's my capture key. You can just save this wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. But uh, Windows 7 sound, uh, that's, that's usually recommended. I mean, yeah, it's usually recommended. But for a tutorial, it doesn't really matter. But, um, okay. Yeah, you always want it on stereo. Just because um, it'll sound really weird coming out of the speakers or the headphones. Um, because it will say, um, your mic's coming out of this side of it, and the, and then the um, the sound the window sound is coming out of this side, and it will sound really messed up, uh, as you can see from some of my videos if they're still up. I think I deleted all of those. Well, um, recording external input. Okay, let me. I don't even want to go into the whole in-depth version of this, but okay. This the the whole thing is. I hate it. I hate fraps for this reason. Recording the microphone in fraps makes it so that the window sound is the number one priority. Okay, it will put the window sound most of the time in front of this, which means that this will be louder than your voice. That makes it extremely, extremely hard for anyone to actually hear this microphone that you're recording with. Okay, I have a built-in microphone. It's uh, it's okay. I usually use my camera microphone though. It works uh, way better. But right now I'm using the uh, Sigma Tel high definition audio codec for my microphone. Okay. And uh, there are some settings that you can go into your recording devices like so. <sighs> and uh, you can come into here. I'll minimize this. And uh, you can you can tell the microphone pretty much to be louder. And you can just go into properties. Um, uh, levels and you can boost the microphone. Uh, you always want this at 100 all the time because uh, if you if it's any lower and you try to boost it up, it will just sound crappy as heck. Okay, you just boost that all the way up to 100, and uh, if you still can't hear yourself, you can keep trying 10, um, 20, 30, whatever. But I like to keep mine at zero because it's just fine for mine. And I usually can just go into the editing software um, afterwards, and I can just edit it in. Okay, Whew. So let me take a quick breath here. Um, video capture settings. Okay, we're getting into the more important stuff. Um, but, oh, wait up. Yeah, I'll go into this, and then I'll come back to the recording external input. Uh, usually you want to keep this unchecked when you are um, recording anything, any games, and I will show you why in just a moment. Okay, video capture settings. You want to keep this, uh, a lot of people like it at half size, and they say it doesn't matter, but um, I actually did a side-by-side -side comparison to full size versus half size, okay? Half size looks like garbage. It's, it's awful to look at. I mean, it's degraded, and you can't see the lines very clearly or anything. I always keep it at, at full size. But if you have a, an extremely old computer, I'm talking like Windows 2000 computer, keep it at full size, okay? And and you should probably keep it at half size if you don't have more than, I would say, 20 gigabytes of free disk space to record a 15-minute file. That's, that's, it's about 10 minutes for a 15-minute re recording, or 20, or it's uh, 10 gigabytes for a 15-minute recording. But just, just try to keep it at full size if you can um, I mean it's it's okay if you put it at half size uh, you can just uh, I'll show you in another video or maybe I'll try to squeeze it in here but if you use um, something like um, Camtasia uh, Studio or Adobe Premiere or something like that you can usually scale it up into HD like a full size video but it will still not look as good as if you use full size Anyways, uh, FPS, you always want this at 30, because YouTube, it does not matter if you record at 50, or 60, or 120, or 300, or 500, or 1000. It will not matter, because YouTube will always scale it down to 30 FPS. That's, that's, that's what YouTube does. When you upload a video to YouTube, it will always go to 30 FPS. Now, um... That, that really, 30 FPS will also help minimize the size of the file. Um, anyways, uh, back to the, the sound recording of your microphone. 
uh, these really don't matter folks uh, you can do that if you want if you don't want them to see your uh, cursor in Minecraft but don't click that either that will screw everything up but um yeah screen oh crap. okay stop screenshots uh, this doesn't matter it can be whatever the hell you want um, but I recommend going on the internet and getting this free program called audacity 1.3 beta codec okay this thing this thing is the best when it comes to recording your microphone I mean there's the freaking free accessory microphone recording if I can find it here uh, yeah sound recorder that thing that that's not gonna cut it guys if you wanna be taken seriously that's not gonna cut it you wanna hit this recording button right here and uh, that'll get you on your way um, I think I've overpassed the limit on this but I will send a link um, into the description when I make the next video on editing and uh, processing the video for YouTube so that it will become a full video anyways thank you for watching I hope you have a great